Don't you just love it when you get those clients who are like, I'd like to own the images, please, or I need a perpetual license. What do we do with that? I'm going to share how I would approach that if that email from a client landed in my inbox. Hi, I'm Rachel Coronet, professional food photographer, helping you take incredible photos that are good enough to eat. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know what's going to happen. But I do get people asking me, what do I do? The client wants a perpetual license. I can only share from my experience what's worked for me and my clients. And I want to do that with you through a few examples of exactly what I would say. I feel like we should do a disclaimer here that I'm not a lawyer. This is not legal advice. This is just education and giving some ideas on a place to start with having a conversation with a client. I feel like I just have another disclaimer that I'm not a grammar whiz, not super great at spelling. I'm also Aussie, so we spell things differently. We use British English. So when it comes to the email writing, please don't judge me. So when you start diving into the world of licensing and charging licensing, when I first started, I would get pushback from some clients because they would say to me, well, so-and-so didn't do that. And -and so-and-so didn't charge me that. And I had two thoughts. Well, one, they didn't know about licensing. Or two, they just could be bothered educating you. And now it's my job. So by sharing this video today, I really hope it's going to empower you to talk to clients to help our community. Because the more we talk about licensing, the better off we're all going to be. Before we jump into how to talk to clients about perpetual licensing, I want to cover image ownership and perpetual licensing and what the difference is. So when it comes to copyright or owning images, we as the photographer own the copyright. You would actively have to sign the copyright over to the client in order for them to own your images. A perpetual license, on the other hand, is the ability to use those images indefinitely. So you can specify how those images are used within the license, but perpetual license really is about them being able to use the images as many times as they want for as long as they want. The important difference to note is that if you sign copyright away, clients can actually sell your photos and make money from them versus a perpetual license where they can just keep using them indefinitely without selling them. Now, usually if you are signing over copyright, that's why it's very expensive because you're not going to make any money going forward. As where a perpetual license, it's also more expensive than a one-year license because they're going to be using those images for a longer period of time. If this is new to you, my advice is to make sure that you thoroughly read any contract or agreement that clients are sending you because sometimes the wording is a little bit tricky and you actually might be signing over something you don't want. So we're going to move on to how do we talk to clients about perpetual licensing? The first thing that I want to bring to your attention is that it is our job as a photographer to one, educate our clients and two, find out what they really need. So that's the basis of any communication that you're going to have with your clients. Educate them, find out what they need. Do it in a nice way and be super passionate and you'll be fine. So the first thing I'll talk to clients about is like, what do you really need? Like really need? And I'll sort of talk to them about that. The most common reasons that clients would ask for a perpetual license are the following. The first reason that I come up against with clients is they think that a perpetual license will solve the issue of you selling images to competitors. And they are worried about that. The second one is they feel it's the best investment for their money. They're paying you. So they sort of think they own the images, but if they understand copyright and know they don't, they feel like they should just be able to use them indefinitely. Number three, super common is that clients and brands want flexibility. I understand that. So they want a perpetual license so they can just keep using them without having to look up the licensing terms or contact you again. And lastly, some clients are just new and they've just heard the term perpetual license. So they just pop it in there. We need a perpetual license, please. But they actually don't know what they're asking for or why they actually need it. My tip for writing emails to clients is always be super friendly and super positive. Even if you need like a day to get over the fact that you're annoyed about the things that you're asking you, always just be super, super nice. So let's say the client has emailed you and they've said, we need this, 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 and this. And I need a perpetual license because it's the best investment for our business. Definitely heard that a few times. What are we going to say back to the client? So I'm going to open my computer and we're going to write an email together. So this is 
literally what I have written to clients. But this is just really a starting point. Tailor it to your business, tailor it to your voice. So I would start by saying to the client, you know, hi, client. Thank you so much for sharing this project with me. Like start with something really positive. Talk about how excited you are. Maybe make a few mentions to the actual project itself. Then I would write in there, you know, they've, they've called out the fact that it's the best investment for them. We're also small businesses. So I could say, you know, thank you for sharing that project with me. I'm really excited to work on X for X reason. So this is what I would respond to the client with. Hi client, thank you for sharing that with me. I'm really excited about X project for X reasons. As a small business owner myself, I completely understand that you want to make sure that your investment works for you over time. Now, I think it's important to call that out because you're empathizing with the client. You're coming down to their level. You get that this is an investment. And I think just making sure that you call that out, they feel heard. The next thing I would address is that it's actually really costly for a client to own copyright or a perpetual license. And is that actually the best use of their investment? Remember, they talked about investment. So how can we sort of tease out what is actually important to them? So I would say, in my experience, it's very costly for businesses to purchase a perpetual license and isn't often needed. Instead, I'm here to listen to what your business needs and propose solutions that will be both cost effective for you and ensure that you can use the images as you need. So that's a little bit of an educational piece that we've had there. Now, we want to ask the client a question. What do you actually need? So I would say, can you please share with me what you are needing in a license? What's important to you? Is it a certain time frame or flexibility of use? This will help us tailor a licensing agreement that will work for you. Now, if you're a seasoned photographer, you probably have a go-to licensing or a licensing period that you share, especially with small businesses. So this is where I would pop in my sort of standard license for a small business and sort of talk a little bit about that. So here's what I would say. Included in my small business fee, businesses get to use images in the following ways for a period of X years. And then I would list all the ways. Images typically have a lifespan of three to five years and a business will often want new images after this time. This is one of the reasons I don't ask clients to pay for images longer than they will need to because it's not the best use of their investment. If you think about it, think about the images that you own or the images that you paid for. So for me, that might be images like headshots. I'm not going to be using that image in five or even 10 years. So if a business has a product or a recipe, they're not going to be reusing it, resharing it in different ways after a certain period of time. They're going to want to refresh their brand, refresh the product. Now, just a side point, if you're like shooting for a food blog, it doesn't mean 10 years later they need to remove the images from that original blog post or they can't update that blog post. They just can't use those images in new ways. So again, we've done a little bit of education here about talking about maybe a standard license, a standard sort of usage. Then I would go into telling the client that we can tailor something together. So if they have a specific requirement in mind, you can always add that into the license. They don't need a perpetual license in order to do that. So I would include, however, if you require extra usage on top of this, for example, unlimited exclusive rights that include, this is where you would list some of the less common things, like maybe it's a billboard or maybe it's a specific product package or something like that, you'd simply pay an additional fee for those usage rights because you don't want the client to pay for a billboard they're never going to use. So all of this is just coming back to educating and supporting the client and finding out what they really need. Then I would close it off with something positive to talk about how we're working together you know, they can ask any questions or any concerns and just really leave it open to a conversation. So I would sign off by saying, I hope that you can see that I like to make sure that licensing agreements are individual to clients and they don't overpay for things they don't need. If you think this is something that we can work together on, we can start a conversation about your licensing needs 
and the inspiration for the concept and I can draft some figures up for you. Please let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Looking forward to hearing from you and you would sign off your name. So I know I've already said it, but this email is really about education and finding what a client needs. And these are some starting points as to what you can build an email with to have that conversation with the client. Now you may get a client who is like, no, perpetual licensing or the highway. You might also just really open up a conversation to say, I understand you and I really want to make sure that your money is going towards things that you need. And so hopefully you can start a dialogue from there with that little bit of education and how you work and hopefully negotiate a fee and a licensing agreement that works for your client and for you. I understand firsthand how scary it can be to talk to and educate clients on licensing, but the more you do it, each time you're going to get a little bit better at it. So hopefully this is going to give you a little bit of confidence about where to start. If photographers as a whole educate more clients and talk about licensing, it's only going to benefit all of us. The first one that I've come up with, no, 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 Mm -mm. this is so stupid. (laughs)